boy Tank, and you are now tuned in, locked in with my guy, Taj. Talk with Taj. We locked in right here. Now, I, I want I want to ask you a question about uh, sex, love, and pain too. Um, I know recently, a couple of years ago, um, you stated how you become disappointed in the industry, so now you've come back in a different way. Um, explain what what got you inspired to write this new project, and what new direction are you headed in? Well, I think you know, I think it was kind of a direction that 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 I had been in before. You know what I mean with previous sex, love, and pain, and you know, and kind of tapping, you know, on it lightly with now and never, and this is how I feel, and having moments of it, but not completely, you know, giving full way to it. And that's just, you know, making an album for everybody. Do you know what I mean? A lot of times, um, as artists, you know, or as producers or whatever, we can get locked into a space, you know, to where we just drive towards one thing. And, you know, we kind of, we kind of with, with stronger just kind of went straight at you know a really old school a really retro R and B fan you know and you know unfortunately they didn't respond you know which you know which was what it was and you know there is a disappointment when you know you're trying to service the people that are asking for something and then they don't show up you know but at the same time you know it is a business so you know you got to figure out a way to. Um, to be seen and to be heard. So coming back with this six love and pain too, it was like, hey man, let's just let's just not you know aim at nobody. Let's just do what we want to do. You know what I mean? Let's just make an album. I have fans ranging from shoot nineteen all the way to ninety. You know what I mean? Let's do an album that all of these people can listen to. Let's 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 get into the nuances of of, of all of it, whether it be something with just piano, whether it be something with uh, trap drums, whether it be something with, you know, falsetto, whatever. Let's let's just do it all. You know what I mean? And and let's be happy with it within ourselves and let the chips fall where they may. And and that's what we got. And with that mindset, was that kind of the a reason why you worked with um several current hot hip hop artists like you got Yo Gotti on the album, you got Rich Homie Kwan, um I think he's you got Chris Brown on the record again, you got Wale which that's all this that song right there, while they killed that, you know, killed it. So is that was yeah. that kind of the mindset on why you went with their approach? Well, I mean, like like I said, I just, I just wanted to have fun making this project. You know what I'm saying? And you know, it, it ain't fun. It ain't that fun making a project all by yourself. You know, you just sitting in the room <laughs> right. by yourself. You know what I'm saying? Just you know, I was like, man, let me let me let me call up some people. You know that I know do some really cool things as well. Let's collaborate. Let's make let's make. Not just music, but let's make magic. You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing you get when great people get in a room together and collaborate, you know, and work on something like this. And, you know, I, I didn't want to observe any rules. Like, you can't tell me that it's not an R&B song because Rich Homie Kwan is on it or because Wale is on it. It's a great R&B song. You know what I mean? It just happens to have a great feature on it as well. It's just adding to the record. Um, you know, and our list was short. You know, when we did, you know... Um, the song she with the shit like i wasn't i wasn't looking for a bunch of people to be on that song like when i heard that song i said man you know who would be crazy on this song who would kill this and take this to the next level rich homie kwan and it was like it was unanimous it wasn't a a big old list let's go down the list and see who's gonna be available and see who we can who we can get for the least amount of money and then (laughs) right it was we're making a project and everything about this project has to make sense you know what i mean the people on the music uh, the people and the music, all of that has to make sense. So that, that's that's just how we did it. Now, in today's industry, is that one of the major challenges in writing an R&B album? Because R&B has changed a lot since the you know early stages of your, of your career. So it was that kind of the you know like you know we're just gonna go out and do our own thing. We're not going to stick to what the new school is doing or what we did in the old days. How was you able to really find that balance between the both? Well, you know what it is is that we we just didn't we just didn't lay too heavy on either. You know what I mean? Um you know, for me I'm 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 pretty cool in understanding that I've I don't really have anything to prove, you know, vocally or lyrically or like I've been I've been doing this for a good while. So if anybody you know, if if, if people are still clueless in terms of, you know, what I do, if I do real R and B music or not, then 
they'll probably never know. It's sixteen years in. Come on, people. But you know, we we didn't want to we didn't want to lean too heavy on either. You know what I mean? I think the okay. biggest thing for me was that you know when I first the music that first inspired me to do R and B music was New Edition. It was Guy. It was Babyface. And you know these music th- this music was working in in a very um a very very current space in terms of music is concerned. You know what I mean? Like that was the that was the current. That was what was happening right now. That's what was popping. And the reason it was able to inspire me as a kid is because you know I was able to get to it. I was able to see it because it was you know it was promoted heavy. It was pushed. You know what I mean? And it was in you know it was in the mainstream. Uh, in, in the mainstream way, you see what I'm saying? So right. it's like if you want to be heard or be seen, if you want to be an inspiration to kids or an inspiration to whoever you want to be an inspiration to, you have to put your music in spaces where people are going to be able to see it, where people are going to be able to hear it. So, you know, although we do our traditional R&B, you know, which we're very great at, you know, we also have to be good about being um, being good at this mainstream music as well so that people can hear us and see us. And so that our inspiration has has longer arms, has a longer reach, you know what I mean. So we just we just wanted to do it all. 